We will now walk you through the simple steps of how to properly install horizontal siding so it looks great today and for years to come. Remove all shutters, downspouts, and fixtures. On older homes, replace any rotten wood and securely nail all loose boards, siding, and wood trim. Remove any old caulking around windows and doors. All exterior wall surfaces must be even so that your new vinyl siding will be straight and look sharp. Install furring strips 12 inches on center or a solid nailable sheathing prior to the siding, if needed, to level the surface or provide sufficient material for 3 quarter inch fastener penetration. Snap a level chalk line around the base of the sidewalls. Make sure the line is level by using a line level. Your chalk line will keep you straight as you install your starter strip along the bottom of the building. Leave a 1 quarter inch gap at the top of corner posts. Place the first nails in the uppermost end of the top nail slots to hold them in position. Place all other nails in the center of the slots. Nails should be 8 inches to 12 inches apart. Corner posts should extend 3 quarter inches below the siding. Do not nail tightly. The corner post should move. Proceed with the trims. Cut the J-channel the length required. Make sure to install J-channels around windows and doors as well. Nail in at the center of the slot. Using the chalk line as a guide, install the top edge of the starter strip along the bottom of the chalk line, nailing at 10 inch intervals. Allow space for corner posts and J-channels. Leave a quarter inch space between ends of starter strips for expansion. Nail in the center of the starting strip nailing slots. The first course, or row of panels, should be placed in the starter trim and securely locked along the entire length of the siding panel. Make sure the panel is securely locked before fastening. Fasten the panels in the center of the nailing slots. Allowance should be made for expansion and contraction. Do not drive the head of the fastener tightly against the nail slot. Leave 1 32nd of an inch between the fastener head and the vinyl, about the thickness of a dime. Since vinyl siding moves as the temperature changes, make certain that the vinyl panels can move freely in a side-to-side -side direction once fastened. Do not force the panels up or down when fastening. Panel locks should be fully engaged. However, the panels should not be under vertical tension or compression when they are fastened. Check every fifth or sixth course for horizontal alignment. Also check siding alignment with adjoining walls. When getting close to the end of the course, measure the section in order to determine how many full panels will be required. Measure the length required of finished trim. Use a pair of snips to easily cut through it. Fasten your finished trim and proceed to measure the dimension required for the final panel. Determine how much of the top panel must be removed by measuring the distance between the top of the finished trim and the lock of the panel below, and subtracting one quarter inch. Be sure to measure several times across the wall as the dimension could change slightly. Score lengthwise along your line. Flex the cutaway section back and forth along the scored line and it will separate neatly. Push the panel into place, securing it under the finished trim. We hope this presentation was helpful and invite you to view other videos on our website. Transform your home into a property of lasting beauty and value and never paint again, ever.